All right, we're gonna try this other UV mod with a negative display. And um, I found this in a different search thing, so we'll just see what it does. Okay. Uh, If this one actually works. So this one might not work. Hmm. Okay. So you can't patch this one from the browser. Interesting. So you'd have to save the firmware and then you need to go into the tool to do it. So there's a bunch of different ones on here. And this one here is the GitHub one. Let's see. Then there's this one, the Who's Matt GitHub one. Not all of them are the same. Um, let's go into here into this one. Okay, that's a bunch of crap I don't want to look at. Here's the actual generator. So in the actual generator, you should be able to put the regular deal in program mode, go into it, click what you want, TXRX. Um, but I don't think this has a negative display thing. So there's lots of stuff on here. Um, enables transmitting on frequencies from 500 or 50 to... 50 to 600. The harmonic radiation wave can be stronger than the input frequency and cause severe interference. Disable TX lock from 50 to 600. Uh, enable TX everywhere except for the airband. Um, frequency steps. We don't need to change that. And EMRX on all bands, enhanced RF frequency, uh, lower the limit from 1 to 80 megahertz. Okay. Um, I don't know what this air copy thing is. And you can change the FM radio frequencies. You definitely want to increase the mic gain. Um, you can change the tone of the Roger beep. Um, let's see. A lot of this stuff, I don't know what it is. You can change the NOAA frequencies, I guess. I'm not sure. I guess maybe if you're in a different country. LCD contrast, you can change the font. Um, backlight duration. We'll go ahead and click that because it doesn't stay on long enough. Uh, fast power on, skips the boot screen and goes instantly to negative display. Let's try that. There we go. All right. And then there's the apps, so um, RSIS meter and battery voltage readout, or the graph. I don't know what I already have. There's also going to be um, custom boot troll face. All right. Click this RSI meter, and I think... If we go into here, we can actually, because I think that's the same, hold on, I think that's the same as one of the apps. So we should be able to just use our spectrum. We'll go through here, yeah. So we click over here, patch firmware, it'll do its thing. And then this one has the firmware flasher. So then it pulls up your comm cable, you click OK, click connect, and then if it's working right, which is not, the radio will start going doo 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 doo. 
So, um, it doesn't like something or, um, something's not working right. And I've had, um, an issue before. So, uh, usually just try it again. What does it say? Connected to the report. No data received. Is the radio connected and is in flash mode? Okay, so we disconnected the radio. We put it back in flash mode, which is you hold down the push to talk and turn the radio on. Don't touch any other keys. Okay, let's repatch the firmware. And then we'll go to firmware flasher. Click our serial port. Click connect. And now it's working. And I think what happened was I actually hit one of the keys on the keypad when I put the plug in the radio, and I think that's what screwed it up. It's very sensitive. So after this is done, we should have a negative display, and then it should pretty much look the same um, as it did before. Okay. Wow. Look at that. That's pretty interesting. Okay. Now, I'll, hold on, I'm going to do this. So, yeah, if you like that, then you can do that. So, I'm not sure I care for it, but um, it doesn't really matter. You can do it either way. Yeah, so I don't know what I think of this one. I wish it would do like the rad tell and give me the name and the frequency. That would be so cool. Like if somebody could come up with a way to do that, I'm sure that it's possible. When you look at this display, it should be possible to do anything. So I think we just long press this. So I can't seem to pull up the spectrum thing, which is interesting. It's like uh, it didn't uh, didn't put it on there. But anyway, you can go and fiddle around with this. The web address is right here, and um, just you know do whatever you want to do with the damn thing. Now, um, one thing I haven't tried trying to do it while I'm on here is was going to VFO mode. Keep stop the scan. Okay, let's go. So let's go. Well, that won't work. So it should be on the CB radio. And apparently, it is transmitting. Let's try something here. Let's turn on the radio here. I don't have an antenna hooked up. I'm actually on AM. Because I was trying to see if this actually transmits on AM. It does not. Okay. I'm going to here. You can hear the little Roger beep. Test one, two, three, four. So, let's see.
past one, two, three, four, one, two, three, four. Um, but from what I can tell, it's going to be transmitting on FM. Test one, two, three, four, FM. So that's, uh, that's definitely FM. So, uh, the FCC allows FM five watts on CB now, so that's legal, <laughs> technically. That's an interesting deal. Um, yeah, you can't transmit on AM, uh, and you won't hear anything on this unless you hook a actual antenna for the frequency, so, um, but pretty interesting, huh? I think you'd burn up the radio, too, if you tried to talk on it, so, you know, for any more than a couple seconds.